Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's switch over to level 99 Ella time. And there's only one point of drive distance so it's not really going to make much of a difference. If, if at all. Star Tournament. And this one that I'm doing is of course a Star Dunes Tourney. Now, I haven't officially unlocked all the holes for this one on the uh, Visual Boy Advance emulator. But I have on this Game Boy Advance here. But the, the thing about it is the only hole that I haven't unlocked is beating the high score on the Mushroom Doubles Cup and, you know, Neil and stuff like that. So, uh, just, let's just, let's just pretend that I have it unlocked already and we'll just, we'll just play all 18 star holes of this one normally. <laughs> Alright, so what's, what's this element here? What is the star? Well, okay, let's let's test this out here. Let, like, let's say we're gonna hit through the star and then land our ball in the rough or the bunker, okay? How about that? So let's just let's just give that a try. Regular topspin to make sure that it goes in the rough or the bunker. And let's just see where it goes. Oh no, I'm in the rough, but the star power, it gives me a spectacular... Look at that, it gives me the best lie in the world. <laughs> see that bottom right corner? Yeah, so it, it makes uh, going off track trivial, but the thing about it is that, you, you know, you if you you aren't in good position... Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> like, if you aren't in good position, uh, the thing about it is it, it might not actually be worth going through one of the stars. In this case, it, it was alright, I just kind of hit the side of the slope, and that's what veered me left in front of the pokey. But that is okay, because I can recover, and I can birdie. You know how things roll. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out the field here, see what is up. We got the usual Mario suspects here, and any non-Mario characters going on here? Um, actually, no. That's interesting. Unless I'm missing something here. No! Interesting. Okay. <laughs> no Mario characters whatsoever. Now, um, see these see these things? These are, I, I forgot the names of them. I think they're called bounce pads. But if you land your ball on them, it'll really, really make your ball spring in the direction that you hit it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, okay, maybe not that well, but yeah, you see how it goes. It wasn't that helpful. It would have been better if my ball was at a lower trajectory, but eh, I just wanted to show you what the poop they do. Uh, I would actually kind of count them more as fast fairways more than anything, because generally they don't really help that much. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, they can boost you over certain stuff, but it's not, it's not like... Uh, yeah, well, I, I mean, I guess fast fairways have actually more use than that, but <laughs> but the thing about it is that it's it, it's kind of unpredictable how they work. Like, did you notice that when I landed the ball on on one before, it, it, it didn't actually bounce on the first bounce for whatever reason? I don't know why that is. Maybe the, the hitbox of these things are just smaller than they actually s seem, but no, that one bounced on the first one. The other one sure looked like it went through um, on the first shot, didn't it? Didn't it? I think it did. <laughs> uh, anyway, enough messing around here with the elements, and let's try and get ourselves... Oh boy, <laughs> let's try and get ourselves back on track here. Um, let's try and... Oh shoot, that's under hit. It's not gonna go in the water because it's so... Like there's such a large gap between the, the water and... Yeah, so... Well, that actually, actually turned out pretty well, even for my messing around here. <laughs> Uh, let's go back, and a little bit over to the right, and a little bit past the mark. Well, not that much, but because it's uphill, and I mean, actually, it was quite a bit coming. <laughs> now that I think about it, because I was I had to switch to middle, but I don't know. I'm just jibber jabbering here. <laughs> let's try and hit a box, I guess. I don't know if this will work. Can I? Can I? Hmm. Maybe I. Yeah, I guess I can. And super packs to control it. Let's try it. Will it hit? It hits! Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> that turned out a lot better than I thought, messing around. Experience points! Ooh, I don't need them at all! <laughs> Level 99 characters just 
It's completely useless to them. Um, uh, I mean, what's the point of, like, with this drive distance that I have, there's no, re no reason to hit in this pipe to go over there. Ever. I don't, <laughs> I mean, maybe it would be a better angle, I mean, a little closer to the green, you know, going through that way, but it's not a better angle than it would be to hit over here, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit over there and super backspin to control its landing. It should come out just fine after it bounces up the slope. Oh, it didn't quite bounce up the slope. Well, eh, mm, mm, that's fine. Um, how about I go way off to this side, because there's a lot of wind going on here. Remember, these characters that I raised have rather, rather high trajectories, so... You gotta play for a lot of wind here. Look look at how much that ball moved off to the side. Oh, no, 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 don't come at that steep of an angle. Ah, it's not gonna roll out when it does that and then it backspins too far. <laughs> That's okay. A uh, little, little smidge to the left, I think. Switch to middle. A little past the mark. Okay, again, that's a lot past the mark. Oh, really? <laughs> I was... I was jipped there. <laughs> that was a pretty good putt, too. Just a little too much zip. Uh, boost panel, bounce panel over there, hanging out, but... Eh! Who needs them? <laughs> I think they're just gonna get me in more trouble than not. Because, yeah, I think hitting over here would leave me with the, the cleaner shot to the green. So, I'm gonna try and plop. Oh, maybe not. Oh, got a cactus. <laughs> let's, go a little, let's go a little lower here to get under its arm. Uh, how about landing it right about there? Whoops, 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 whoops. Somewhere like there, I think, will be fine. And regular backspin. There we go! That should turn out beautifully. Especially since I hit the impact area so cleanly. Look at that! Could have been a little longer to get onto the flat spot, but I don't have to move the cursor anyway, so... <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. I'm not ahead of the birdie curve, though. That's making me sad. <laughs> um, let's just go and... Smash it up to the top of that tier. I think one bounce ought to do it. Don't hit the cactus. Don't hit... Okay. <laughs> It just went right between the arm, I guess. And... Yeah, best drive, of course, because the wind is with me. At least best drive for Ella. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back to, say, maybe here. And I'm gonna have to use regular backspin to pull it back onto the, the chunkier portion in front of the hole. You'll see why, because see the wind push it back uh, behind the hole? Uh, and I just bring it back with the backspin since it's got high trajectory, but it went, went a little too far compared to what I wanted it to. But I know the character's backspin, and you know I didn't want it to carry that far. It just it just happened that way, <laughs> so it's all right, no big deal. And you know what? Forget the boxes. <laughs> I'm not not gonna risk another stroke or say another loss of birdie just trying to get into a box that's not gonna give me anything useful at the <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Oh, 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 I have a nice backspin into the hole. Alas, alas, I'll have to settle for birdie. <laughs> hole nine. Uh, yeah, they put boost panels over here to make the water, uh, you know, make the gap. You can also kind of zip around that way. I mean, it bounce panels here and boost panels on the other side. But uh, I'm just, yeah, I want to play this normally. <laughs> Normally, I'm just taking out all the mushroom elements, I should say Star Chorus elements, with having such a high d drive distance, but... Eh, eh, I don't know. I'm not having fun. You're seeing how things are working as they come into play, as uh, something useful to use, so I don't see the, the Harmon playing the best shot that you have at the opportunity, if I can show everything eventually. <laughs> And a little backspin to control it, because it's going to go down that hill a little bit. Oh, wow, that really zipped back even up the hill. I should say back up the hill. Uh, good amount to the left, because there's that big arrow transition right over there. And there we go. Eagle, and now I'm ahead of the birdie curve. <laughs> uh, there's a star over there. That might actually be worth hitting. Uh, because if I smack through that star and then end up, you know, right in that opening... I will be able to topspin as far as I want to. Well, I, I didn't mean to hit A twice, I wanted to hit AB, but eh, whatever. 
Yeah, because over here, I can go in a bunker, I can go in the rough. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, I buried the ball, but the star just pops it right out of there. And to give you the best lie in the world. And then I just hit to the green normally. <laughs> so stars are really useful uh, in terms of like what you can do with them. Uh, if they're positioned well. Like that one was very, positioned very well. I'll move this one over to the left on my putts, and go in, go in, yeah! I didn't, I didn't know if that was going to go in because it seemed like it was a little bit too much to the left, it wasn't coming back quite, quite alright, but... And there's another item box over there that, uh, just, just outside of my range. <laughs> I hit the ball too high! And I'm not gonna move the cursor, I'm just gonna overhit. Just yeah, cut everything out of it. Just to make sure I make the putt. And uh what's in my What 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 is in my way here? Is that like what? The cactus? Really? Even though I've got such a high trajectory? What if I went like this? And then no? Mm, I just hmm, interesting. <laughs> okay, let's go back over say, let's try and thread the needle here for the fun of it. <laughs> Actually, it's not going to be that difficult to do so, because as I said, the characters that I built have a really good impact area, so slight miss hits are virtually... I mean, aren't really going to affect the ball by very much at all. So that wasn't actually threading the needle. <laughs> as risky as it looked, it's not risky at all with these characters. And hold your hold your position, hold your position. Uh, a little bit uh, too much. Okay, there we go. It moved a little bit to the right, and way past the mark. Go 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 go! <laughs> that came close to stopping right on the edge. Um, let's see what I can do here. Wait, where does the like where does that oh pipe leads there? I didn't I didn't see the other pipe because the um the yardage was in the way of it. I was gonna say where does that other pipe lead to? I don't see any other pipes around here, and I forgot where that other pipe I mean where the pipes lead to. So, eh, it's all right. I will just plop my ball over here in the fairway and have a nice day, Mr. Pipe. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go back and. Say, I want to hit off the slope a little bit to bounce it near nearer to the hole. Oh, that's too much! Super backspin. That's yeah, that's way too much. And I even lost a power shot because of that. Look at that control! <laughs> I told you that was too much. Again, like I said before, the higher the the power of the character is, the more uh, miss hits on the power side of things affect your shot. But anyway, I'm gonna try and chip it in. This is just what I do. And just a little, just a regular shot here, just kind of trickle it down. Oh, really? The slope didn't take it down? Oh, come on, I even moved a little bit to the right thinking it was going to... Ah! How disappointing. How disappointing. Um, I could scooch my way all the way over there, I guess. Eh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that being much of a factor. The wind is going to keep me away from the mushroom, and it, my ball should bounce up the hill and onto the fairway. No, oh, look at that, it didn't. It actually hit into the hill. Well, that actually turned out to be a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I can pull off over here. Uh, let's go run it up there, I guess. Oh! Okay, what do I, what do I need to do here to get myself close? What do I need to pay? <laughs> okay, let's see if this will work. Okay, it worked. Just run up nice and softly. Eh, that's not bad. I couldn't put backspin on that because it wouldn't have made the green. I guess I should have uh, put the cursor a little bit back from where it was power-wise, but eh, I think I, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it matters that much because that was an easy put back. I just prefer to be closer if I can help it. Eh... Um, how about I hit over on the side slope a little bit and control it with backspin. Now the idea of this is to bounce it towards the hole where the, the chunkier portion of the, the flat spot is. Oh, I didn't quite hit the, the side slope like I wanted to, so of course it's going to go left. 
but it's still within the flat spot, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, how about I try and get it up the slope with super top spin? Oh, well, I don't think that's gonna work now because I underhit it. <laughs> that's all right. I will still be in okay position. Uh, yeah. 124. Yeah, that's just a wedge or even a 9 iron here. But I think I'll go with the pitching wedge here. And I will use the no spin method because there's so much green to work with here. And. Just kind of let it roll out over to the, the flat spot past this little bump that I'm landing it on the front of the green here. Just goes, do 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 do, has a good time. <laughs> Look at that. I could have used uh, the stop and drop method on the flat spot as well, but eh, I'm mixing it up. <laughs> oh man, the field, as the course gets harder, their scores are getting worse. <laughs> I had a lot of faith in. Uh, the computer is getting better scores, but it's, it seems like they're slipping on these harder courses. <laughs> I'm, I'm not actually going for the shortcut route this time because I don't really see it being as much of a benefit to do that rather than hitting over here because of the angle to the green. I'll have more green to work with hitting towards it at this angle as opposed to the other one, even if the other side is closer. So oh, I need to cur <laughs> curve it around the cactus. And I'll try and get it near the hole, but it's probably going to end up down below the hole and to the left because of the wind and the slope and everything like that, but we'll see how it turns out. It might turn out alright. No, nope, it's going to go below the hole. <laughs> not, not too far below the hole, though. And I will just do this little tapping for Eagle, not even changing the cursor at all. Uh, two ahead of the birdie curve now, and... Um... I don't know. It actually looks like I would be better to hit into this pipe for once. <laughs> I think I'll actually go for that. Because with my drive distance, I would end up... You know, otherwise, I, you know, I'd have to end up holding back anyway. And OH SHOOT! <laughs> so I, I might as well go for the pipe and then try ending up at that little, little giblet of a fairway over there. But no, that's actually... Oh. I can actually get away with this. Look at that. <laughs> I can get away with a lot of things lately, apparently. And super backspin because it's gonna be a low shot. So and it's also gonna be hitting into the down slope. Watch it, watch it. Down slope and control. There we go. Ah, zip back. A little too much for comfort, but I think the brakes are gonna counteract themselves, so I'm just gonna overhit and just hope that it goes in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it did. Woo! 20 under par. And the closest one was 3. So yeah, that that was actually kind of disappointing. And I, I guess I didn't even need Ella at all. But I guess that's just how things rolled. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy. And I will see you in the next parts uh, after I spend this useless experience points. <laughs>